outstanding, so it's so crucial for him to get out of group stage here. Well, here we go. Both these guys need a win. And Shugs will receive. And he'll just be happy with taking the ball at the 25 to start this one. And it's worth noting Shugs, number 47 in the world. I'm not very good at math, but that's not in the top 32. Means a lot to Shugs to get a victory here. Yeah, that's about 15 spots <laughs> he needs to climb. I, I'm very good with my my minus uh, in, in uh, addition. So if you need a guy minus. during this game, subtraction, you well, mean? Okay, listen. Come on. Okay, my my lexicon, my verbiage might be off, but I'm great at number crunching. I use all my phalanges to do it and my toes. So first and ten at the 25. Shugs in those all black Saints uniforms, and hello, Frank Gore. Have you met the defense of Boogs? Yeah, a great play over the middle of the field. His user defender, that defender he clicks on and virtually controls in the middle of the field. He shot through the gap on that previous play. Take a look right here. This is the user defender. He's in the middle of the field. He's going to want to shoot through gaps to support in the run game. So Elway slings it out to Terrell Pryor. And he'll get to the 33-yard line, third and two. Yeah, and something to note here on third and two, this gives you a lot of options here to try and convert. You, you can run the ball if you'd like. You can pass the ball vertically downfield because your opponent might not be anticipating it, but you can also go to a quick pass underneath to convert. A lot of options for Shugs here. Shug converts third downs at 50% coming into this one. And he'll go to Gore. Up the gut, and that'll move the chains. That is a good start right now. You can see the, uh, the ball control style offense here for Shooks. It, this really just might be bad matchups for Boogs in this one here. You get two ball control style guys. One was scheming in the first game, and now Shooks here, here. He wants to control the line of scrimmage with the ground game. Well, Boogs has not looked good against the run. He ranks 12th out of 16 among our competitors. And Gore. Slips a defender to the 43. And there goes that clock. Tick, tick, ticking away again. Yeah, and in the top of the broadcast, we, we mentioned how important Kirk Cousins will be for, for Boogs, and, and he will be. But on the defense side of the ball, we're going to take a look at a guy by the name of Sean Taylor. Really important against a run game like Boog, uh, uh, Shugs has here that he steps up in, the, uh, in this game and makes a big play. He's at free safety, the man in the back with the start underneath him. And they go to Gore. He stretches it out. But a good job, Houston, in there on the tackle. And this is exactly the way you want to play this opening drive right here from uh, uh, Shugs. You can see he's already converted on that first third down because he had a manageable third and short spot. Uh, and now, once again, he gets into another third and short spot. It's a, a vital to your offensive success to get in these third and short situations. So third and three. Already two minutes gone by here in game number two. Both of these guys have yet to record a win. And Frank Gore makes his way in plus territory. Ball's at the 43-yard line. I want to point out something here real quick. Look at the defenders in the middle of the field. Not enough to protect against inside runs right there. That's why Shugs is having a great uh, ability here to run up the interior of the field. Take a look at this. Only one defender in the middle of the field. You need more linebackers to protect against these inside runs. Up under center is John Elway. He'll go to Gore again, and this time he falls forward for one. Frank Gore getting a heavy dose here. Second and nine spot here for Shugs. Play action incoming. Watch out that for that if you're booked. And he goes to Gore. This time he bounces it outside. There's Sean Taylor to wrap him up at the 38. Yeah, and Shugs, you know, he, he's a guy that uh, back in, uh, uh, from the future we saw in him before this game. Listen, if you haven't seen him on the major stage this year, this is a guy that's been here before. Back Madden 06, he won a regional tournament in our previous Madden challenges that we had back in the day. So he is accustomed to the big stage. By the way, back in the day was a Wednesday. Was it? Is that confirmed? Third and four. Ball moving to the 36, and there's a big time stop. Good defense there by Bugs, and that's going to force a fourth and three. Yeah, now if fourth and three spot here, watch for Bugs to bring safeties up uh, to protect against these runs. Now, but if you're Shugs, watch for a quick pass right here. Little Williams slant and in. That's the route that you might want to target here. Field goal out of the question. Quick drop by Elway, and he finds Terrell Pryor. 
And that'll move the sticks. First down, Ha Shugs. Shark. Shug's doing a great job here on fourth down, rolling out the pocket. Elway, a little bit of mobility, gets the big uh, conversion. So already in this one, converting on third downs, converting on fourth downs. Scott, this is beginning to look a lot like that game with Scheme and, uh, uh, and Bugs in the first matchup. Take a look at that clock right there. you got to see one minute and 30 seconds right there. Uh, this is a spot that you've got to be careful here if you're Bugs. A little bit of deja vu for Bugs. Already dropped the game in group stage. Frank Gore is bottled up at the 32. He goes nowhere. Yeah, and it's so frustrating. You, you know, you've played games online before where you're, you're playing somebody and they control the entire first quarter, and controlling the tempo, and you can't stop it. It's so irritating because you want to get the ball, especially when you're a guy like Bugs. You just want to get the pill in your hand and start chucking it all over the field. So it's just the absolute right strategy here from Shugs to control the, the, the game with the ground. Second and nine. They go back to Gore, and a good job in the backfield, tripping him up at the 30, third and eight. Yeah, already early on in this one, you can see 30 yards on the ground for Shugs. He's rushed 10 times as well. He's going as the number two rushing offense in this tournament. He rushes nine attempts per game, so he's already hit the quota <laughs> for the ground game. So if you're Bugs here, you need to start getting your run defense in order. And an overtime loss to Beast Mode Mac. He carried the load over 30 times. So he goes back to the run on third and eight. And Gore cannot shake free. And he's going to go quick here, Gibbs. Fourth and two. 25 seconds to go. Big play. Not selling for the field goal, and it's going to cost him. Big time stop by Boogs. And Boogs on that one. Phenomenal defense in the interior part of the field. You can see on this replay, you can see the outside rush forces the run back in the interior. He gets a block shed. That's where you get one of those one-on-one -on -one battles for those of you new to Madden. Great defensive stand there from Boogs. Bend but don't break. So we'll see if that costs him on first and 10. Cousins, why not? Oh, and he drops it. It is not Boogs' day, my friend. <laughs> By design, no? I mean, that's not the play you want. Little scramble rollout, tip drill, Kenny Stills catches. But then there's that DRC making the breakup right there. Second and 10 spot. So second and 10, a lot of drops today for Boogs, a lot of overthrows. And it'll bring up second and 10. Just 11 seconds to go in the quarter. Quick throw, couldn't get past the line. And Cousins, not a strong start in this one. Already 0 for 2, and we saw pressure right there. Strahan was a key in terms of getting pressure on Kirk Cousins, but he gets his big ugly paw, big ugly mitt up in the middle of the field, backs that ball down. It's worth noting that Boogs has made some adjustments. He was looking downfield in game number one, much too much against Scheman. He's gone to more of a check down, short routes. Third and 10. Rolling to the left. Got a man up the sideline. And he toe taps at the 40. That was a possession catch down that left sideline. For those of you new watching at home, you have multiple catches in Madden NFL 17. The only way you're making that play right there is with a possession catch. You hit the A button, it's going to get your feet to tap on the so sideline. We move to the second quarter in a scoreless game that's very important both of these guys 0-1 in the group stage if you lose this one you might be heading back to Baton Rouge or Atlanta so second and 13 after the loss Boogs at the 43 Shugs comes in with the number one rated defense in all of the Madden Challenge quick throw to the outside stiff arm and that should be enough for the first down, and it is. Yeah, I really like the way he's going to get Travis Kelsey involved in the offense early in this one. He's a difference maker. He runs routes right over the middle of the field like that right there. Uh, he's a guy that can make defenses really worry about vertical patterns and short crossing routes over the middle of the field. First and 10 from the 29. Hit as he threw. And now far harmlessly to the turf, and we'll set it up again on second down. Yeah, you can see right here, we're going to go instant replay. 
good composure in the pocket, but the Michael Strahan once again making a big play for Shugs. So second and ten at the 29. Cousins looks to the outside. That'll move it to the 22. 56 passing yards now as we've seen him go to Kelsey twice. And there's a nice corner route to the sideline. He's got it down to the seven. Working the Z spot to, to perfection. Yeah, beautiful route combination off that right edge. He runs a short pattern towards that right flat. The defender pays attention to that short flat. That then opens up that deep corner behind it. So beautiful play design and execution right there for Brooks to get that first down. You call it the red zone, I call it the dead zone. Inside the 10, very tough in Madden football. First and goal from the seven. And he'll go to the run. And Stewart cannot get away. He'll lose four. Yeah, two rushes for negative seven yards already. And this one for Bucks. So we know he doesn't like to run the ball, but he's not having a good uh, a chance right now in this one. Now, you get the ball in this part of the field, Scott. You look to get the ball up to your big receiver, a guy like Kelsey, a guy like Jones. Get it up high to them in the back of the end zone. Second and goal now from the 11. A little more room to work. And a great grab at the one. Had a defender hanging all over him, and Kenny Stills pulls it in. Yeah, Kenny Stills makes a spectacular catch with absolute blanket coverage on him. Gets the ball down to the one. This is a spot, you know, quarterback sneak, you go fullback dive. It's interesting play calls you get here because most of the, the players in this tournament, they have defenses to stop these quarterback sneaks. And what do you do? Do you go to the quarterback sneak? You can't run on something that's defeated. Well, here comes a huge play in a scoreless game. Goal line formation. And he'll hand it off. And no, sir. Hot Shugs able to stop him at the two. Yeah, and right now, goal line defense is the story in this one. We had a big stop previous. It's going to force the field goal here. Three nothing. And we'll go back to the first possession for Shugs, where perhaps he should have kicked the field goal. We'd have a tie game. Nevertheless, Boogs, for the first time today, takes the lead. Yeah, and, and listen, I mean, you got to feel good if you're Boogs, right? The way you came out in this one, it, it, you got the, the, the stop yourself on that fourth down. Uh, you come out, you move the ball downfield. It, it's not the, the typical Boogs we're seeing where he's just chucking it all over the field and making big play after big play, but you still put points up, he gets the lead, which is so important. So trailing by three is the man from Baton Rouge, Josh Shugs. And he goes to work at the 25. Gore got caught up behind a wide receiver there, but able to pick up five. Yeah, they give the ball to Frank Gore more and more here if you're Shugs. At some point, the fatigue set in if you're Frank Gore here getting so many carries early in this one. Elway back up under center, hands it off to Gore. Gore falls forward to the 33. We're going to have a third and short. Yeah, once again, you can see right here, take a look at this right here. Cover four. When you see that cover four, you have your deep uh, the safeties that help play in run support. So great recognition from Bugs uh, to be able to identify that and see uh, that Shugs wants to run the ball here. So third and two. Another offset formation. I feel like I'm watching Oklahoma football from the 60s. And he'll go to Gore. And that A back formation, and he'll get to the 38. You're gonna love this play style here from, from Shugs right here. I mean, he, he has a commitment to the ground game. You know what's so difficult about playing someone like this? I tell you, it, it's so frustrating. Every time I play Farles, this is the same way he plays. I'm, I always am like, oh, he's not gonna run the ball. But guess what? They run the ball every single time, and it's so irritating. So Shugs, great commitment to the ground game. Pistol formation now for John Elway. It looked like he might have lost it there for a moment. But able to hold on after the three-yard loss. Big time hit in the backfield as Boogs dialing up another run blitz. Yeah, and what ends up happening when you start running the ball so much like this and you run the ball effectively, controlling line of scrimmage, you start getting more aggressive with your defensive play call. That opens up deep passing options for Shug's offense. Quick drop for Elway. He'll take off get to the 42. You know, he was the former Stanford Cardinal. 
was drafted by the New York Yankees. I know he knows how to baseball slide. He's done it once or twice. He also knows how to just jump and go helicopter mode, too. We saw that once. Yeah, that was a big play. In the Bronco days for the Elway. Third and six. Goes to Gore. He's got some room. And Sean Taylor says hello, but not before he picks up the first down. You know, I'm going to continue to watch this matchup with Sean Taylor, the deep free safety, and Frank Gore. Frank Gore, whenever he's split to the right of the quarterback, he's going to be running towards Taylor. That's going to be something you want to watch all game. Goes to Gore again. You know what Frank Gore and Sean Taylor have in common? Is this a riddle? It's not a riddle. They both played at the U. Down in Miami, both former Hurricanes. It was second and fourth, just 36 seconds left in the half. That clock has been pretty sneaky here in the second quarter. But yeah, all these runs, I mean, it's gonna it waste the clock really quickly in this one. Three timeouts for both of our competitors. Hot Shugs goes back to the run. And with the ball in plus territory at the 42, a big third and five. And Shugs is going to take a little time to think about it. Yeah, and, and right now he's already anticipating another play ahead of him here. You know, he's 59-yard field goal at this point. You can't kick that. So he has to get into a manageable fourth down uh, spot if he doesn't convert on third down. You're already third and short. He's done a phenomenal job of staying in these third and short situations. That's why he's converting at such a high clip. Well, he's got Jeremy Shockey. On the right side, speaking of former Hurricanes, Pryor, Baldwin, and Williams are trips to the left, and he'll go to the right. And that's going to be close at the 37. He'll take a timeout, and it's the first down. Yeah, and he gets that much closer to field goal range. Now we're going to add 17 to 37 here. You're going to get a carry the two, 54. So now he's, he's about five more yards to really feel comfortable to kick a field goal here. Important to note. Only one timeout in his back pocket. We can see him chuck the ball out right now. 16 seconds to go in the half. We've had a game of ball control. Possession in favor of Shugs. Has time. Rolls out with Elway. And he'll throw it away with eight seconds on the clock. And this has been the formula to playing Boogs close. You just... You hold the ball and you don't allow Boogs' high-powered offense to get on the field. Yeah, you got to control that clock, and now you're in a tough spot. Eight seconds to go. You need a quick pass. Watch for a shocky run uh, right there or another run. Goes back to Gore trying to get in field goal range. And he's about at the 36 and a half, 37. So it's going to be a 54-yarder from there. It's tough. And he's going to line it up. The snap, the hold, the kick is up, and it's off the crossbar. No soup for you. And all he can do is smile. Take a look at this instant replay. He was just shy of full power on that kick, and we're going to hit the crossbar. No good. So you got to feel good if you're, uh, if you're Boogs in that one, escaping with a 3-0 lead. Well, well, I tell you what. Dekebe Matumbo would have loved that one. Rejected on the field goal. It's another defensive battle here in Books. Just cannot get his offense going. He's not gotten a lot of opportunities. He's leading this by three points on this one. And to head over to halftime, let's go to the guys. It's another defensive battle. All right. Thanks, gentlemen. Appreciate that. Off the crossbar, guys. But, yeah. Doink. This <laughs> this is a close one, and this is last chance you. One of these guys has to win. I'm a loser is most likely going home, uh, especially with point differential, you have to imagine. But it's anybody's game in the second half. Rico, what did you take away from this? I took away from the fact that Shugs needed to take that three early. By him not taking that field goal, he gave Bugs control of the game. Now he gets the ball back. He's up two score lead. That could be trouble for him. All right, Zach also joining us here at the desk. Let's go ahead and take a look at the other match and the highlights from that one. Uh, go ahead, take it away, Zach. You've got it. You've got Scheming taking on Beast Mode Mac in this one. Alfred Blue underneath for Bam. The artist formerly known as Bam gets down into field goal range, kicks three. Raiders leading 3 nothing over Beast Mode Mac right now. However, Mac with two minutes to go, in the second quarter is going to kick it, tie it up 
three. So a tight one over on the off stage. All right, guys, don't miss out on your chance to watch the final eight competitors battle for the NFL Club Series Championship on April 15th. For more info, visit NFL.com slash Madden hyphen NFL. And plus, folks, got a little tip for you from Beast Mode. My name is Matt Clark, a.k.a. Beast Mode Mac, and my pro tip for you guys is to play zone defense and to man up the receiver they keep beating you with on the opposite side of the field. All right, there's that great tip from Beast Mode, looking pretty good today himself. little so. cross man on defense he was talking about. You're seeing that in his gameplay. You'll see it if he uh, makes it out of this round. It's going to be pretty tight, but that's a great tip from Beast Mode. Learn those controls. You can become a uh, superstar, too. All right, let's go ahead and send it down to Drea, who is on the field. Drea, take it away. Thanks, Tyler, here with Shug. Shugs, you're trailing, but ball control has been working very well for you. How do you think you've been doing in that regard specifically? Controlling the ball well, but you got to take my three when I get it. Well, and you just told me off camera that you're having trouble passing. How do you rectify that in the second half? Make better reads. Simple as that. Let's send it back to Scott and Gibbs. Thank you so much, Drea. And I tell you what, we move into the second half here. He, he, he regrets it, not kicking the field goal. Boogs now has a field goal lead, and he's going to get the ball. Yeah, Boogs, though, it has a really difficult time right now stopping the run that Shugs is showing here, and it's the commitment to the ground game. So you're going to see Shugs hopefully air it out a little bit more in the second half, but Boogs, he's going to keep passing the ball. He's going to get into a rhythm. He's got to put some more points up on the scoreboard, though. Both these guys playing very tight. I'm not used to seeing Boogs play this tight. I know he's calm and collective, but at some point, you have a high-powered passing game. You just got to let it fly and start getting those dots. And that's because of the way Shugs is playing. It's all that ball control. That will throw you off your rocker. That, there's nothing worse than playing in a game of Madden, especially a competitive stage, when your opponent is, is doing what Shugs is doing to you because it frustrates you. It kicks you out of your game, and, and it's really difficult. Well, moving toward the second half. Both these guys needing this one. Not only do they need the win, they need some points. As we head to the second half here, Boogs will take over at the 25-yard line to start half number two. Here in game number two of the Madden Challenge from Los Angeles. Trying to shake free at the 30. Cousins has been a lot more effective here. He's six of nine. It's just he's not getting a lot of opportunities on offense. Yeah, I mean, he's starting to get the ball to Kelsey. Uh, your tight end right here. Kelsey's the guy that will be the tempo setter. You get him the ball outside short on that first down. Now second down, can we run him a vertical or run him an inside slant to get open position here? Get Kelsey the ball. A little motion there from Kenny Steele's Cousins. Just covered up, but he throws it into coverage, and it's picked off. And there's one of his fave five. That's Landon Collins and with the INT. You had a short option to Kelsey underneath, but you forced it into coverage there to Collins, and he gets the interception. That's a forced throw right there. And I think a lot of it is kind of the frustration that we're seeing. He's not uh, accustomed to seeing such so much coverage defense out there. That's typically not something that Bugs is, is used to seeing. Yeah, Shugs with the number one passing defense. Number one rushing defense, number one passing defense. And he gets the turnover there. And Gore goes back to work, tumbles to the 48. Hey, how about this? One more for you. He might be the number one rush defense. He's the number one pass defense in this tournament. But let's take a look at the, the actual yards. 23 rush yards he lets up a game. And this is the most impressive thing I've seen. 80 passing yards. This guy's defense is phenomenal. Yeah, just allowing a buck 03 in total defense. A buck 03. I have let up a buck 03 in the first quarter. <laughs> of games before. It is an impressive feat that that's what he does on the defensive side of the ball. So third and three for Haas Shugs from Louisiana. He's got those Saints uniforms. No, 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 no. Jack and right now he's on a drive trailing by three. And he goes back to Gore. Nice block on the edge there. And he'll get to the 44. Little power O, and they pull the lineman, and it breaks them free. Yeah, and, and really what we need to see from Boogs is he needs to change up his defensive formations. He's doing a great job of keeping defenders uh, in the slot area right there and right there, but you need them in the interior part of the field. If you're going to get the rock pounded like this, you need those defenders not vert, uh, horizontally out wide. You need them in the middle of the field to prevent the run. 
Frank Gore carrying the load here for Haas Shugs down to the 40. Second and six. Single back formation. And Elway will hand it off, and it's a gain of one. 26 carries for 82 yards for Frank Gore. That's the formula. We, we saw him do it in that previous game in, in, against Beast Mode, and he's doing it again here. And, and for good reason. We're not seeing Bugs adjust here to keep extra linebackers in the middle of the field. So that's where we've seen all of these interior runs right now uh, from Shugs. That's just what you're going to get. If you only have one defender directly in the middle of the field right there, you're going to see runs in the middle of the field. This time, nice job getting in there on the stop. And that's going to bring up a fourth and five from 38. And Hot Shugs, my friend, you're in no man's land. Yeah, this is another difficult spot to be in. He's probably already thinking about the, the, the missed field goal, the one he didn't go for. And now another fourth and five, you're not kicking the field goal. Elway has only passed the ball three times. This time, throws a quick out to Doug Baldwin. And the man from Seattle, the Seattle Seahawks, old Dougie Baldwin, pulls it in and moves the chains. Beautiful execution on that one. A quick speed out towards that right sideline. Great timing on that completion there for Shugs. He's run 32 plays, and he's passed the ball four times. Let that sink in. And goes back to Frank Gore. Eating the clock and eating up some yardage. Yeah, in, in Boogs right now, he's going to a, a nickel set. What that means is he's putting extra linebackers on the field. One linebacker here and another linebacker there. He's going to bring these safeties up in the box, help bring for some run support. But Shug still run the ball effectively. Frank Gore gets to the 26. He's now run the ball 29 times with Frank Gore, and here comes a big third and four, just six yards from the red zone. Yeah, these are tough spots to be in as well because you know you're in field goal range. You know that you need points to tie the score here, so critical third down for Shugs. 90 seconds left in the quarter. Boogs had the ball to start the half, but Shugs, his first possession of half number two, is content with three yards in the cloud of dust. Big fourth down, and this time, history will not repeat itself. It's right down Main Street, and we're tied up at three. Some old-time football here. I want to see Leatherheads. It's like you're, you're Bears, huh? Well, let's don't talk about that. No? I, I, I told you to never talk about the Bears. You want to talk about the Patriots? We want to talk about that, that <laughs> kickoff that's now at the three-yard line. We've seen a lot of players let that go. Look at it here again. Trying to pick it up, just can't pick it up. And then the, the forward momentum of the animation takes him to the three-yard line. And for Bugs, he's hoping at some point he wakes up and this nightmare's over. That has been a hellacious first game and a half for the man from Atlanta. Cousins in the shadow of his own end zone. And he'll pick up some yards and he'll slide down at the nine. Yeah, back against the wall literally in this one, but great defense you're seeing here uh, uh, from Shugs. On first downs, he's coming out in a run style uh, defense where he's blitzing one of his interior linebackers to take away uh, inside runs potentially from Boogs. Uh, and he's taking these defenders right here, dropping them into coverage out like that. That's where you're seeing Boogs have a real difficult time uh, to, to find open receivers. Bunch formation to the right, steals in motion. Second and four. Cousins has a man, and it's Jones to the 35, so gets out of danger, and now he's got some room to work. Yeah, you can see patience in the pocket, lets the route develop, delivers an absolute strike down that left sideline. Even those two defenders there, great delivery of that ball to get him into position for a, a run after the catch for the first down. 15 seconds remaining in the quarter. Cousins checks it down. That'll take it to the 40 and throw up four fingers. We're headed to the fourth quarter. Third quarter, we barely knew thee. Yeah, we barely knew thee because there was so many runs in that quarter. All Shugs controlling the clock and the tempo. And now you got Boogs here. Got the ball at the three going on a big time drive. 
Second and four. Tied up here with five minutes to go. Both of these guys need a win. And Stills with a nice grab. They move it past the 50 at the 47. Both these guys 0-1 in Group A. And desperation time is starting to settle in. Cousins has some time, throws on the run. And that'll move it to the 31. 10 of 14 now for Cousins as he finds Williams down at the 31. Yeah, and what you're seeing right now from, from Shuggs, he's taking both of these deep safeties here and here, and he's dropping them into coverage. So at some point, when are we going to see a deep vertical pass from, from Boogs? Nice work it to the outside. He'll be forced out of bounds at the 23. That'll bring up second and two. And if you're Boogs, forget about the red zone. It's time to strike right here. Second and two. Cousins. Look, it has a man. And he's down to the six-yard line now. Uh, he's really starting to click on all cylinders now. 12 for 16 is Kirk Cousins. He's in rhythm here. Watch for a vertical pass. Watch for inside run right here to Stewart. Cousins. Throws the interception. Oh, me, oh, my. And Ha Shugs. Able to pick him off. And now with 340 to go, as we look at it again, right place at the right time. Terrible read. Shug's great user interception underneath. He jumped the pattern and was able to make a phenomenal play. Now he gets the rock for a championship drive right here to put Boogs away. So 331 to go in this one. Second and 11. And a tie ball game. And once again, Elway will just pick up two. At this point, if you're Boogs, you got to think to yourself, I got to get a stop here. I cannot move to 0-2. He came into this tournament 5-1 and in group stages in the majors and cannot fall to 0-2. Big time drive. I haven't seen many third and long spots here in this matchup for, for Shugs. How does he work convert here? Third and eight. Elway. Oh my goodness. I've fallen and I can't get up. And he fumbles it to the 11. And both players are in shock right here. Take a look at the replay. Snap of the ball. Elway steps up in the pocket. Falls over his offensive lineman. Gets up and then gets absolutely popped. We get the fumble recovery. Now Books in business. Ball at the 11. Threw an interception and then now has an opportunity on a turnover of his own to take the lead. What do you do here? You're in a situation where you just need a field goal to go up three. But a touchdown would surely be sweet. Yeah, you got to get the ball up to your big receiver. I'd love to see Kelsey run a vertical like that in the back of the end zone, get the ball to him up high. Cousins trying to get away from the pressure, and Geno Atkins says, no, sir. Yeah, and, and right now, he's, he's running Kelsey out to the shallow part of the field. Really like to see get that big frame. He's six foot five. Get the ball up to him in the back of the end zone where only he can catch it. That's where you're going to see how uh, players have success uh, in this red zone as we approach the two-minute warning here. So two minutes to go in a do-or-die game. Third and 13. Can still pick up a first down. Well, think back to that feature on Boogs, right? He, he said, I refuse to leave L.A. without that belt. You better it's time to show up right now, Boogs. He has made it out of every group stage in the majors thus far, but here in the challenge, it's been Struggleville. And he throws another pick. Forced it. He forced it, and, and, and I'll tell you why. That, that corner, that post over the middle of the field, it was too shallow. You need to run that to the back of the end zone. Take a look at this. Snap of the ball. You have the post run over the middle of the field, but there's a defender right underneath it. That's not even a, a read that we see from Boogs. So Boogs really forcing things right here. Another interception. So now Shugs at his own eight-yard line and a big-time hit on Gore, who's got to be feeling the fatigue. He's rushed the ball. 
32 times in this one. And you got to be careful here. Yeah, what are, what are guys like Sean Taylor, Byron Jones, Darius Slay on the Boogs defense side of the ball? When are they going to step up, make a big play uh, for his defense here? New look here. He motions Gore out to the right. Elway all alone. Got to get rid of it. Boy, you don't want to lose a game on a safety, I can tell you that. No, you don't. We had pressure off the right edge. We also had pressure in the middle of the field. See, pressure screams off that left slot, but we also get a block shed in the interior part of the field where that defender wins that one-on-one -on -one battle. Third and 10. 90 seconds left in this one. Tied at three. Both of these guys 0-1 in Group A. And he finds Doug Baldwin, and Baldwin tries to reach out to the 17. And he's going to be a yard short. And yeah, it's you got to go for it here, Scotty. Woo. He's got you got it. You play for the win. You didn't travel all the way here to Los Angeles to not go for the win if you're Shugs. And if you're Shugs, you're ranked 47th in the world, so you need the points. You got to move on. And there's Gore spins for the first down. And you've passed test number one, my friend. <laughs> Test number one, you got all your timeouts in your back pocket, but you need to start moving away from the run here. You got to start airing the ball out, throwing it all over the field. Take a look. You got a defender there, defender there. Those are the guys that might generate pressure. There it is. Elway gets rid of it, and he almost used the force. He almost forced that one right into his, right into the hands right there for interception. So second and ten. You're going to watch out deep here. Bugs bringing those safeties up. For help, extras help in the interior part of the field for a run game. That, my friend, is press coverage. And he finds Williams on an underneath route. Nice stiff arm. All that for four yards. Yeah, and what ends up happening in these games, you're seeing from Bugs, well, I love it. He's changing up his uh, defensive blitz scheme. Right here, you can see a corner blitz on the bottom of the screen right there. That's a delayed blitz. You don't typically see that. Uh, the pressure come in too quick, which then can result into a late throw or interception on the offensive side of the ball. Nice timeout used there by Boogs. That'll stop the clock with 41 seconds left in this one. We're tied in game two of group A. And Elway. There it is again, delayed blitz. Will find Jeremy Shockey. And that'll stop the clock at the 33 as he steps out of bounds. Yeah, so what's going to happen here is when you can't anticipate that delay blitz, it's going to come clean off that edge. It's going to force you to roll to the left side of the field. That's where then Books rolls all his coverage to that side to force you to throw into coverage. Uh, so beautiful defensive scheme right now for Books. But what you have to watch out for, he can generate pressure off this defender here and that defender there. You never know where it's coming from. It could also come from that outside corner. Hands it off to Gore here on first and 10. And Gore will work his way to the 46. And just like that, he needs about 19, 20 yards to be comfortable. And I'm not sure he's that comfortable with the field goal. At this point, you've already hit one off the crossbar. Where do you feel is the comfort range for Shugs? Get me to the 30. Need get the me, 30. Get me to the 30. I'm kicking a 47 yarder here. Get out of here with a George W. That's a win. Back to Gore. This time he brings. Oh, he gets away momentarily, but could not regain his balance. He's at the 49. Shugs just one timeout remaining. Here it is again. Run off that left edge. You can see Frank Gore breaks one tackle, breaks two tackle, and he looks like he's going. Oh, but he falls down. Almost a pay dirt. Well, the old heads are loving this 3-3 game. The youth. I don't know if they're used to these low-scoring affairs. <laughs> he had Shockey wide open up the seam. I, I don't know about this. I mean, he's got one timeout. He needs to run some vertical patterns downfield. The clock is ticking away here. So third and three. Shockey up the seam again. This time he's covered. Has to check it down to Gore. And Gore, you got to get on the ground. Use the timeout. And so one second to go at the 39. He was trying to get out of bounds there, but he couldn't get there. Now he has to use his last timeout. One second to go here. He's not in field goal range in this spot. He's going to need to kick it all the way. If you remember, you saw that missed field goal off Woo. the crossbow earlier. He's already got to be thinking, hey, I didn't kick that field goal in that first quarter. That could cost me. I missed that field goal. And here's the pressure situation. We move in a little closer. 56-yarder. No, thank you. We'll head to overtime. And who says special teams don't matter? Let's take a look at it again. 
just could not line it up. You don't have enough power. That's the thing with, with you know, the draft champions. You don't get to sort of set yourself up with a Justin Tucker, somebody with a leg, and so a bit short. You called it. You need to get to the 30-yard line. That one was well short. And so to start the overtime, it'll be Bugs with the rock. Yeah, and here you go. Overtime rules will be in effect. First to score a touchdown. So if Bugs gets a touchdown here, he walks out of here with the win, right? But uh, or and then uh, Shugs, he if he comes back out, he'll get a shot. If he only gets a field goal, so lot on the line in this opening drive here for both well, special teams has played a huge part of this we've had a field goal go off the crossbar and this is the second time in a row Boogs has had terrible field position off a of kickoff has not looked like the Boogs we've seen and he saw a man at the sideline but had to get rid of it yeah that's a beautiful play that he likes to run where he rolls out left then uses that playmaker that's the for those of you new to the game where you have the ability to virtually grab control of your receiver and send them downfield. Yeah, that's a mechanic in the game. We're not talking about fun. Michael Irvin. It's a fun it's a fun mechanic, man. It's one of my favorite. It's fun and frustrating at the same yeah. time. It's fun when you're doing it. It's not very fun when it's happening to you. Second and ten here in overtime. So what you're seeing right there, okay, we're getting a, a Tampa 2 coverage. What that means is you have two deep defenders are splitting the deep part of the field. That's the defender, that's that defender right there. Those two guys, they're the ones that protect the field. You get to that down sideline, uh, deep down field, that's where Brooks would attack. So third 10 at the 11. Nice job. A little crossing route to the 22. And he did get past the mark first and 10. You know, so uncharacteristic for Brooks for three interceptions, but it goes right along uh, with how many turnovers he's had in this tournament. He's dead last in this whole field with, with protecting the ball. And converse to that. Shucks is plus two. A turnover ratio. So second and ten. Boogs is fighting for his life here in overtime. Can't go 0 and 2. He can't go 0 2, Scott. It's not single in, but I'm telling you what. Losers looking an early flight back home. Yeah, and we talked about Boogs and, and the mark of consistency, and you go 0 and 2. That's where that consistency then can go away at that point, and, and you no longer have a, a good chance to advance out of this group. So going on too detrimental for your success here in the Madden Challenge. Well, he's not lost two in a row all year in the EA Majors, but Hot Shugs, the man from Baton Rouge, is coming here. He's a sheriff's deputy. Did not compete in season one because. While the rest of us were playing Madden football, he was helping out his friends and family and others in his local area with the flooding in Louisiana. So our hat's off to him, and here's a bomb! And it's a walk-off here in overtime. Bugs! And maybe for Hot Shugs, it's a by Felicia moment. And listen, we saw that cover one defense all game long to see the replay. It finally came back to haunt him here. You had no safety support on that last play. You saw Shucks play that style defense all game long. And that was the play that, that Books was waiting to catch him on. And he got him deep. And hey, one and one for you, Books. There's the mark of consistency we were talking about. Well, he wins the game with negative two yards rushing.